have our website to this point. So your homepage looks nice. You've got some things set in your menu over here. Your courses have all been updated. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our extracurriculars. Everybody has extracurricular activities. Extracurricular just simply means anything that you have done outside of your regular school hours of 820 to 335. And it's something you do on a regular basis. So if you work with your church's youth group, if you babysit the kids at church on Sunday mornings, if you have to help your mom at her company or her business, or if she's a teacher in her classroom at her school, after school, making bulletin boards or anything, anything that you do on a regular basis that is curricular outside of your normal school hours is extracurricular. Um, do you love helping your dad work on the car on weekends? Document that. Does your family do family camping trips once a month? Document that, okay? So anything you're doing that's extracurricular. So obviously first, we need this to show up. So just like before, we're gonna make sure we show it in navigation. Now, you should have extracurriculars for every year, but for the time being, let's just focus on this year. So if you're a freshman, go ahead and show your freshman one in navigation. If you're a sophomore, do your sophomore in navigation. Just do the one that's for this current year. That's all we need to do right now, okay? So now once you've got that showing in navigation, click on it and we're gonna go over here. And this is your extracurricular experiences. It should already say freshman year on it. If it doesn't, make yours look like this. And this is gonna be any clubs, organizations, teams, et cetera, that you are involved in outside of the normal school day. Now, in order to earn the Fine Arts Diploma seal, you have to have at least two extracurricular activities or shows and competitions during your senior year. But we wanna go ahead and get in the habit of being involved throughout school. So here's what you're gonna do. Whatever your extracurricular that you're involved with is, that's what we're gonna start with. So you can upload these from your computer um, you can go to your photos in your own drive, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go over here and we're just going to start with the NAHS one. So this is NAHS 2024. Oh, I thought I had the photos in here, but maybe I don't. Okay, so that's all right. Let's go back over here and upload it from the computer then. All right, so now let's go to downloads. NHS, and this is the one from last year, but that's okay. Oh no, here we go, here's the executive council. So I am going to move my photo a little bit so it looks good. And then I'm gonna put over here that um, NAHS executive council. And then I'm just gonna put a little description here um, the NAHS Executive Council is the gover oops, governing body for the NAHS. We meet once each month on the third Wednesday after your school. Um, we are responsible for planning and organizing chapter events and the publication of information about our school chapter. Okay, something like that. Just tell me a little bit about what the organization or the group or whatever it is you're doing. I don't know. Organize. Oh, I need to see I in there. Okay, a little bit about what it is that you're doing 
in that, that group or organization. And then, like I said, you know, if, if you have some other extracurricular, do you take private art lessons, private dance lessons, music lessons, um, anything, anything like that, that you do outside of the normal 820 to 335 school day is considered extracurricular. So you're going to go ahead and update your extracurricular experiences just for this year. So anything that you can think of that you do or involved with, that's what you're going to put here. Okay, so go ahead and take care of that.